Hello, everyone. I am the after sales engineer of hair laser hand held welding department. Today, I will explain the installation and debugging of this machine for you. First, we need to prepare a triangle key to open the cabinet door. Put the door aside and then twist off this tank cap. Prepare a bucket of pure water or distilled water. Use the funnel to add water in. Roughly to the top of the green market is okay. Don't add too much to the yellow level. Then we put back the tank cover. Just leave the door open for now. Firstly, connect the gas to the power supply. We generally recommend argon gas, which will be better for most processing requirements and welding effects. We have an air valve vent here. All we have to do is put the trachea in. Our machine is equipped with a power cord. Connect it to the 220 voltage air switch and must be grounded well. And there's also a power jack. Just align it with the slot on right position. Plug in and tighten. Get these ready, then we open the gas valve. Adjust it to be 10th to 15th position. Clamp the safety clip onto the workbench. Then we can take out the gun and put it on the table. Now we can turn on the power. Release the emergency button. After turning on the water chiller, we need to check whether the water level has dropped. If it has dropped, we need to add some water again. Add it to the top of the green. Then put back the water tank cover. If it is in cold winter, we need to add some antifreeze. In addition, after opening the water tank, because of the low temperature water, we may wait two minutes, then to turn on the laser, until the compressor cools down normally. Then put the lid back on. Now the tank temperature is OK. Turn on the laser power. We can see that a red light is emitted from the gun nozzle which means our machine is turned on normally. Before welding, we must to wear on the laser protection goggles to protect our eyes. Then our first step is to test its focus. We must check if the red light is in the middle. After determined correct, Generally, before the machine left the factory, the focus is on the adjusted state, but sometimes there may be a little change. Suppose you want to adjust the red light. Push the barrel to the innermost. Hold the gun to shoot laser from the top to downward, and slowly find the brightest point. You can probably see that there is a point where the fire is shining. That power is the strongest which is what we call the focus. We just have to move it to this general position. Our barrel has a scale plate, and our focal length is usually about minus 5 mm, which generally does not change. Lock it tightly. Focus was be adjusted well. 
we can begin to welding work. When welding metal plates, we have one welding parameter stable. For how much power to use for different thickness plates? That is a general reference. Now test the welding of metal plates. Firstly, let's set the parameters. Our parameter settings are in the process library. Open it. There's a peak power option. For example, if you are welding a 2mm plate of stainless steel, we will probably have to set 500 to 600 watts. Here we set 600 output watts and save it. Import the data. Here is the scanning speed. Scanning width, that is, the size of the wobble head swings. Normally set to millimeters. By the way, its maximum swing width is 5 millimeters. We can see that the red light has become larger. Then we can adjust it to 2 millimeters. Be sure to press save and import icon and then return to weld. Like this kind of flat welding, we better to use ruler to stuck the side. Help to pull it evenly and stably. These are some of the products we had weld. Both smoothness and flatness are fantastic. This gun is equipped with totally 8 copper nozzles, including external corner nozzle, inner corner nozzle, and wire feeding nozzle. The wire feeding nozzle we match has the diameter of 1.2 1.6. 1.0. Only need to twist it and open slightly. We only need to twist this open slightly. When doing it, the nozzle must be downwards. Because when twisting the thread, it may be iron pieces falling into it. Let's switch the nozzle. Take out one and twist it under actually. This is the wire feeder nozzle, which we'll be using when working with a wire feeder, as long as tighten lightly. During the welding work, the copper nozzle and the protective mirror are vulnerable parts. These are fragile objects. During welding, there will be a kind of welding slag stuck to the copper nozzle, taking off the copper nozzle to clean with anything that can clean it. Like use a screwdriver or something to gently scrape it off, then can continue to use. After daily work, we have to check about this, replace the protective lens. Take off these two screws. And pull this out. Let's check the protective lens. Light on it with a flashlight and check on whether it has any burning spots or dust. It needs to be replaced if there are burn points. Twist it and take out. When we grab the lens, we must grab the edge. And do not touch the mirror surface, because that may damage or pollute the lens. Just plug it back in. And tighten the screws. Up here, before the protective lens, there is the focusing lens. We use the focus lens with 150 mm focus distance. Here is the collimator. There is a 45 degrees refractor in the middle. When replacing the copper nozzle, the nozzle must be downward. In this way, when we twisting, it can have a protective effect on the mirror. Next step is to close the welding gun after work. At first we put the safety clip away. Then roll the gun back up. Hang it on the side. 
when we shut down the machine. Turn off the start key first, because it is the power of the laser. Then turn off the main power. The whole machine will be powered off. Loosen the emergency button. Shut down the main gate. And turn off the protective gas. All the work is done. Thank you.